This is a button. Good enough for science? Not aperture science. The average portal fan deserves better. So today I'm introducing the one and only 1500 megawatt aperture science heavy duty super colliding super button. Wait, hold on. That's better. This one's mine, but what does it do? And more importantly, how do you get your own? We'll get to those answers after a word from today's sponsor. That's right, this video is brought to you by Manscaped, the global brand for men's grooming and hygiene products. And they hooked me up with a bunch of stuff from their new performance package 4.0. So let's open this up and see what we got in store. Wow, just look at all those things I've always wanted, including this, the Lawnmower 4.0 Body Trimmer from Manscaped. This is Manscaped's fourth generation electric trimmer with advanced skin safe technology to protect your body from nicks and cuts in those sensitive areas. The Lawnmower 4.0 Body Trimmer has a super smart cordless charging system and these little LED lights in the front to show how much juice you got left. And if you tap the power button three times while it's off, you'll enable the travel lock feature so you won't accidentally turn it on while you're on the go. I've definitely never done that. Also included in the Performance Package 4.0 are two products I didn't know I needed until now. The Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant and the Crop Reviver Ball Toner. Simply apply the Crop Preserver after a shower for all day body odor protection. The Crop Reviver is a convenient spritz with cooling aloe vera to quickly refresh the area whenever you need it. And for a limited time, you'll get everything I've mentioned before, plus two free gifts, including the Shed Travel Bag and Manscaped's Anti-Chafing Boxer Briefs. So if you'd like to save 20%, get free international shipping, get those two free gifts, head on over to manscaped.com and use my promo code, Mr. Volt, to save and get those sweet deals and start scaping your body. Thanks again to Manscaped for sponsoring this video. So, here's how I built my own little super button, and you can too. First, I extracted the 3D model from the game. Then, I made my own model in Fusion 360. Perfect. Time for 3D printing. And then I printed the right parts. At some point, I also painted them, but I can't stand painting, so this is all the painting footage you get. I split the design into several basic parts. The cylindrical core, which has lots of mounting points, the button cap itself, these little greeblies that go underneath the cap, these four base pieces, three of which are identical, one has mounting bosses for the electronics, more on that later, four connecting plates which bridge between the quarters, this is also the attachment point for the microcontroller, I also modeled the feet, which have a lot of detail, so I fused them into one piece to make them easier to print. These have a mating little cylindrical element that pops on top, which also has a tiny piece of the button bezel. Speaking of which, there are a few unique bezel elements. I added little notches to the bezel elements and little triangular protrusions on the cylindrical base, so all the parts align accurately without having to fuss with them too much. Now, the 3D printed parts are just the beginning. This isn't a super button yet. Look at this ordinary light switch. What does it do? Turn a circuit off and on? Are you impressed yet? Of course not. That's because this light switch doesn't run Python. But you know what it does? The Raspberry Pi Pico. And while the RP2040 on the Pico can do a lot of things, we still need some extra components to get the job done. Which means we need a switch to read. To keep things easy, I decided to use mechanical keyboard switches. The design requires four Cherry compatible keys. You may need to buy some online, but if you're like me, you could just go to your nearest unfinished mechanical keyboard build and liberate some switches for your super button. Okay, so we've got brains, buttons, now we need beats. I added an amplifier and a speaker to the design so it can play the classic game sound effects, but it can play just about any short MP3 clip, so your button can play whatever you can squeeze into the Pico. Now the super button doesn't just make noise. It also has RGB LEDs, the most important feature of any do-it-yourself electronics build. So you can also cut up some strips and mount them to the cylindrical core, and they'll light up in the classic game colors when the button is pressed. The in-game model has a helpful uh, put cube here icon, but the texture file is short on pixels. So I made my own vector graphic to get a high resolution print of the companion cube indicator. So I printed a set on some transparency film with a laser printer, cut them out, and added some diffusion film behind it on the little display bezel piece. Okay, so the super button is done, but what else can it do? 
Well, the Pi Pico can emulate a keyboard, so you could use it to type letters or even whole phrases. So what am I actually gonna do with my super button? Well, I could hook it up to a relay or a more robust electrical circuit to control anything in my shop. But to be honest, I didn't actually make this for myself. I made it for you, the portal community. So what are you gonna do with it? That's the real question. And if you want the files and the instructions to build your own, you could have them for this price. That's right, everything is available for free. And that's thanks to my amazing patrons over on Patreon. You don't have to be a subscriber. You don't have to give me anything. That makes sure I give all of my files away to everyone for free. No Patreon exclusives, just fun stuff for everyone. So if you want more fun, free stuff, go ahead and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Adam759, Kynan McCauley, and Paranormal Encounters, you guys are the real heroes.